Hey y'all, Nova here. Uh, you may have been wondering how you get the weapons case on Ashika Island. It actually can be relatively tough. Uh, in this video, it's a full raid of me getting my first weapons case on Ashika Island. And at the end, of course, it shows you what you get out of the first case. So I won't spoil it. So feel free to watch the video, skip ahead. Uh, I may cut out some of the early parts just because we're gearing up and getting ready to the castle, so I may cut it down to around 10 minutes just so you see the important parts of how to get into the castle. Um, but I'll, I'll give a quick overview while we're uh, getting geared up and stuff. Um, so in this, like, Suki castle or whatever, there's a, a wheelson, and you have to disable the wheelson. It takes a lot of bullets. I'd suggest bring, like, a couple of thermites or some text or something, and definitely pick up, like, any thermites you see on the ground. They really help for taking it out. Uh, so... Eventually, you're going to have to shoot it. This thing is a laser beam, so be careful. It will down your entire squad if you're not careful. And so, yeah. So, kill the Wilson. Oh, Wilson. Uh, hack its systems. Once you hack its systems, you will be able to get into the castle. And once you get into the castle, be careful. There are two sentry guns. Uh, you'll, you'll learn their spawn points pretty fast. you got to take those out with more uh, thermites or whatever, shooting them enough. And there are a ton of heavily armored AI and riot shields, stuff like that. You know, I found a big tip here. The shotguns are actually, like, they one-shot heavily armored AI. So shotguns seem to be insanely good at taking out the castle guards. Uh, definitely better than, like, uh, ARs or SMGs or anything else. Uh, you also don't run out of ammo as fast because you're literally one-shotting the AI. So I think shotguns are severely underrated in DMZ, especially for, like, taking out AI. Uh, even if you just, like, find shotguns on the ground when you're running, like, a geared uh run uh still them if you have like a medium or a large backpack still like a not even a modded shotgun in your backpack and just take it out for when you get into this castle uh, i promise you it won't disappoint it, especially like the bryson and the expedite such a good such good shotguns i haven't tried the kv broadside yet i haven't unlocked it yet to be completely honest but once i do i'm definitely going to be trying taking it in a couple times to the castle and just see how it does so anyways, you got to kill the AI, uh, you got to kill a couple sentry guns, and then to actually get the briefcase, you're going to want to climb the stair. There will be a couple of different staircases in this castle, and you're going to want to climb the staircases up to the very top, and at the top you'll find uh, definitely a couple riot shields. Watch out for trip wires as well, and you'll find the bomb maker up there, and once you kill the bomb maker, he will drop the weapons case, and then you're able to get out. Uh, definitely be careful of people extract camping. I found it to be a lot more prevalent on this map than other maps just because it takes so long for the helicopters to come. And it's such a small map that basically if you have the weapons case, you can almost always expect to get at least one other team uh, to come attack you. And as you can see in this uh, raid, we definitely teamed up with uh, three other people. I found doing six mans, it's a lot easier. And even as a six man, we have lost a couple of times um, trying to extract the briefcase. So it's definitely not easy. Uh, I mean, I am playing with randoms. It's not like I'm playing with a hardened squad or whatever. But if you're playing with randoms, team up with as many people as you can, get in that castle, kill the guards, kill the sentry guns, disarm the traps, and you'll get yourself the weapons case. So I will let you know as soon as... I'll probably be uploading shorts with the different uh, weapons case rewards. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy the video, and have a good one, y'all. Who's oh, that you review when we're getting out? Y'all doing okay up there? Good shit. Alright. Good shit. I'm gonna drop armor for all of y'all, okay? Here. Behind you? And I drop, I drop three for y'all. There you go. Great. Crazy. Get this self revive. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Do y'all have any idea? What... Oh, 
this goes. Not very interesting. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Yep, let's do it. Y'all have any idea where the Suki like fortress key goes to? Because it looks like all these buildings are unlocked. Uh, come, come to the front door. Uh, come to yellow, and I'll show you what I think it goes to. There's some lockers. Yeah, yeah. Right here. Try this. No, Suki weapon lockers key. Interest, interesting. I have no idea what what those go to. We can just get out though. We only have two minutes, so. I'm gonna hit the supply drop real quick. Unless Pink, are you already gonna hit? So what? Don't worry about it. You hitting that supply drop over there? No. Right. Where is the supply drop? With the there it is. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, I'm calling in a UAV. Alright, so we see where the team is, so let's go to this other one. It's nuts that a UAV can, like, Make sure you then tie them up. I have two mortar strikes, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get us some of our kills, Levar. Oh my bad, my bad. Um, let's go up, see if we can get our... Bro, mortar strikes suck dick, bro. Oh my god. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh, the hell popped in the air. Fuck, I think so, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, bro, what the fuck? Oh, what the f- Appreciate it. Thank you. Rip. I definitely left my sniper behind. That sucks. Good shit. Hey, here's a self revive. Ah, oh, shit. I have extra self. <sighs> Levar, you think we actually got the weapons case this time? <laughs> Because you picked it up, but... Oh, there we go. There's my one out of seven. Even though I've gotten it, like, five times now. Oh, someone extracted with an IFAC. Nice.